Hi guys. So today we will see how you can build, train and use text-based deep learning models inside your Google Sheets. So at we at Asana AI, we have created an integration uh, for Google Sheets, which allows you to do all these things, basically build, train and use deep learning based text models uh, all inside your Google Sheets without without basically writing a line of code or like visiting a specific website or anything like that. So everything is baked inside Google Sheets and you don't have to move out anywhere. So for this task, we'll be using this uh, data set, which is basically uh, like a data set of uh, SMS messages and the category associated for those messages. So as you can see, these are these are some SMSs that you may re you may receive. So SMS or WhatsApp messages, and the category is basically to decide whether a message is a spam or a no uh, or a normal image or or a normal uh, text. So in this case, uh, a task is basically to decide whether a message is spam or not, and uh, we want to do this automatically using our deep learning model. And the idea is that basically when you when you get a new text here. You can, uh, the model automatically tags this at uh, spam or ham, and then you can possibly use it for your analytics or something else. So, uh, so let's start. So, basic, so right now we have the uh, Asana add on in this Google Sheets. Uh, the first step would be to set the API key. Uh, so, you can get the API key from our website, you need to create an account. So, uh, you'll be started with the base plan, which is absolutely free. And so you can easily try out this uh, demo here. Uh, so you just need to set the API key here and then you can just set the key. So I've already set the key here, so we don't have to do that. So we can just start straight away. So just press start and you get this view here. So in this view, basic, uh, you have, uh, like right now we don't have any models, so it's showing no models. And you have two way. You have two options. You can either create your own model, or you can create a model from our AI marketplace. So our AI marketplace has basically uh, these kind of models, which are like sentiment classifier, text summarization, translations, keyword extractions, etc. And we we keep on adding new models to this list. Uh, so if you find something useful, you can directly use it from these. Or uh, like in this use case, we need to have a custom model to decide whether it's spam or ham. So we will be creating our own model. So, so right now, like it says, like if you don't have any labels, you can add custom labels in new column. So if you don't, if you didn't have this column, you can just add a new column like a uh, category and you can just add some labels for these messages. So uh, if you add like 50 or 30 message, 30 uh, labels, uh, the model performs reasonably well, but like uh, the more you add the labels, the more, the better the performance of the model. So it's always better to have more uh, labels. And so in this case, if you if you add more labels in here, you can just press refresh uh, once you have the labels added, and then you just need to press upload sheet. So this uploads the sheet, and then you need to, so right now we get this view, which is the train model view. So you need to decide the text column. The text column is basically the input to the model. So here it would be message, and the labels column is the output of the model. So here it would be the category column. So we will enter the name of the model. We'll call it spam uh, detector and just press train model. So once it starts training, this will take a little bit amount of time. So what happens is after, after the training of the model, uh, you basically receive an email from us saying that your model has been trained and ready to use. Uh, so this would take some time. Uh, so we can basically wait for it. So now we have received the email. Yeah. So right now you can see that basically your model has successfully trained. Now you can use the model in your Zapier integration or your Google Sheets integration. So we can just go back to home here. It still says no model, so we just basically refresh the list. And now we have the spam detector in here. So what we can do is that we can just press this. And now we get to the prediction column. So the prediction area is basically like it says, like you can do 
predictions uh, directly into your sheets using this area. So we can choose the column number to predict on, which is the column number one, the messages column. And now you need to set the starting row to the ending row. So if you if you want to do the prediction from, uh, say, row number 16 to 18 or something like that, then you can just specify it here. So right now in this case, we just need one column. So we just press six and we just say uh, seven. And we need to have the predictions for the column number one. So we'll just press one. So we'll do predict on this. So the model will start predicting and now it has predicted that it's ham, which is I think quite accurate in this case. And uh, one more thing we can do here is that we can also specify a trigger. So basically what a trigger does is that it, uh, whenever you add a new message into this spreadsheet using your some external API or some other tools that you're using, uh, it will automatically run the model and populate uh, the category column for that uh, for that row. So what we can do is that we can just set the trigger. Uh, and so here we need to select the column where we want to populate, which we want to populate. So in this case, it's the number one. And so we just add the trigger and the trigger has been added now. And now you just have to do is, uh, like say if we want to just update this one and we just press I'm leaving up now and uh, it should be populated now so yeah so this was populated so the idea is that basically whenever you have a new uh, new uh, row which has been updated or a new row which has been added it automatically updates uh, populates the category column and runs the model in the background so you can also delete the model from here and uh, add new models so in your base plan basically uh, you get one model and 100 api calls and 10 batch predictions and if you want to upgrade you can always do that using our website so that was that and uh, i thank you for your time and i hope this tool uh, sounds interesting to you uh, so please do visit us at asanei.com to learn more about this thank you